What is going on everybody? This is your boy Gunner Two Times and today we're going to be going over some of these interviews we've seen the last couple of days. Now, the first one is from The Hollywood Reporter. They sat down with Infinity Ward Studio Art Director Joel Emsley. Now, as you can see, he is in his office and he has all these type of monitors with sketches. You know, he's an art director, so he has this notebook, this notepad with sketches in it. Like the juggernaut, you can see some of the soldiers, the gun bench, some of the guns he sketched out. Just everything is in that notepad, and it's absolutely crazy. I would love to have it, but that's, that's his personally. But stuff like this is always good to see, because you get the real in-depth of how they create these things and what's going on behind the scenes. Now, just putting every negative thing that's been going on for the last couple of days with the PS4 exclusivity, Stuff like this should always intrigue the player, regardless if you like it or not. Like stuff like this is definitely interesting. Like he gives us a lot of hints just in the game, like how they created some of these, these bags, like the perk bags that you see right now on your screen, just the backgrounds, the 3D cameras moving from the gun bench to the gun, to the lighting, the characters, and just a lot of little things that I thought wouldn't have been shown, but some of the customization with characters, you've seen Captain McMillan's um, sniper sniper suit, like his gillied up suit in that mission from COD 4, we actually get to use that suit, the sniper suit, so that's pretty cool too, and just seeing all these different characters, we get to customize and how, you know, different it's going to be, just cu character customization in modern warfare is going to be huge and you can see it right there on the left side and it shows you like you can go up and down with your character change his head you know his torso body and pants and stuff and stuff like that so i think that's pretty cool but we did get a sneak peek look at one of the seasons and it's the homegrown season now a couple days ago or a week ago i think we did get a look into the code of Modern Warfare and it gave us the leaks of all of the seasons that's gonna be in that game. And the list is still out there for everybody to see. So season one, we got Broken Arrow. Season two, we got Cyber Attack. Season three, Bio Warfare. Season four, Homegrown Terrorism. And season five, Climate War. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be the post launch season. I don't know how it's gonna go, but with that little clip right there when he was getting interviewed you seen the homegrown terrorism so i think that's pretty cool man and just to pinpoint that out i think this is going to be very very crazy going into modern warfare because like i said the negativity right now with the game is pretty high because of ps4 exclusivity with one mode you know the special ops mode and survival you know a lot of people don't like that man and unfortunately it's taking a lot of people's attention away from the good of the game and I don't know. Moving on from that, we're gonna be talking about campaign. Now, this campaign behind the scenes trailer didn't give us a lot of hints, but it did show us some gameplay. That's the biggest part of this behind the scenes trailer. It wasn't full fledged multiplayer, but it was sneak peeks of it. Like maybe like 10 seconds, five seconds, you know, stuff like that. So. I think that behind the scenes trailer gave us a lot of knowledge of what's going on with this campaign and the direction of what the team wants to go, you know, and just seeing some of the retired Navy SEALs and stuff like that and them talking just how the game is made and just how some of the things that they went through during war makes it worth wanting to see how this game is or just playing it. So that right there just sets it off or just sets it apart from any other Call of Duty story mode. Now, another thing too in this is that during the next 10 days, we'll be receiving more intel on campaign. So for all the campaign enthusiasts or just don't care about multiplayer or anything else, you guys are getting more information just about the campaign. Over the next 10 days, that is absolutely crazy. So you can expect way more information on the story mode. And just by the little snippets that they've been giving us, you know, some of the cinematics and things of that and the stacking in the hallways and just entering rooms and stuff like that. It just makes it worthwhile. And I just can't wait to play the campaign. Walkthrough will be on the channel and it should be a fun time. Now for the special ops people, 
Now, October 8th is the day for the special ops reveal, I'm guessing. And we get way more insight of the mode alone. Now, I can tell you now that that day is going to be crazy because if we get a live stream or a trailer or whatever, the comments, the live chat is going to be going crazy because of what's going on with the exclusivity. That's the only thing right now that's holding over Modern Warfare is the exclusivity and supply drops. Two things. That's the only thing right now. And I'm just hoping that they make the right decision and just making it consumer friendly. That's all I can say. I'm not going to sit here and complain on a microphone about a DLC model, you know, because even if I do say something, it's not going to change how they're going to want to do it. So I'm not going to sit here and just make this video negative, but I don't know. But just tell me how you guys feel about these two videos, you know, just let me know if you feel like they was helpful and knowing a lot more about the campaign and some of the characters or just that interview with Joel Emsley just talking about behind the scenes stuff with characters and customizations and, you know, stuff like that. Just let me know. But other than that, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment I did below and I'm out, man. Peace.